I'm Aki Thumb and welcome back to Let's Play Seven Days to Die. Um, so, overnight I've been preparing some seeds. Hopefully we're going to get the farm started today. We've got four days to the next horde, so plenty of time for fucking around with shit like this. Um, let's see, all well, this is going good. Right, so, we need some forged iron. Because we're going to make a spiked club. Sadly, we can't make a steel melee weapon just yet. We can get that going. Let's see, we've got cement. Cement's been mixed. Cement has been produced. Okay, um... I don't need this glass for the moment. Is there anything in here I could turn into seeds? I don't think so. So, I've got... To start with, some coffee, some corn, and some potatoes. I'm pretty sure. Didn't I have. Whoops. Didn't I have a broken leg? Didn't I have some corn upstairs that I could turn into seeds as well? Let's just check that. I'll come to you in a moment. Um, I think it was in this chest on the left. Here we are, eras of corn. I believe I can turn these into seeds as well. Corn seeds, here we are. Excellent. So we're going to be growing coffee, we're going to be growing potatoes, one blueberry, and some corn. Uh, do I have to... I think I have to uh, make some kind of placeable soil, don't I? Or Do I, or can I just... Because the ground is just dirt down there. Maybe I can just hoe that. Uh, how long have we got till I make that spiked club? I might not want to go straight out there. Let's go down and check. I should have made this at the start, really. But I, to be honest, I haven't played this game in about two weeks. And I completely forgot about everything. Um, okay, 50 seconds. So, down here. All the way down here. On the right, I think this is what I spent the overnight doing. I think we've dug where we need to dig to for this ladder down from the farm. Hopefully. Let's just remind myself what level this is. 57. I made 30, 30 ladders to begin with. I'm not sure if that's enough. hope it is. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to dig down on camera. I do have some of the bits and pieces I need to do, I think. Uh, come on, one more. That's the point, actually. I need to make some food. Right, 20 forged iron. Spiked club. I think this is the one. This is, like, the second best melee weapon in the game. Very good. Uh, how much ammo? Oh, plenty of ammo for the crossbow. Although I could do with a, a new one. This one's getting a bit old and worn out. And I could probably make a better one as well because my skills improved since then. Okay, you know what? It's fine. If we start to run out of food, we can come back. There is meat upstairs. Right now, where is the screamer? Sounds like she's over there. I think she's in the trench. There she is. Oh, come on. Please be dead. I think she's dead. Oh, no, she's not dead. Now she's dead. Just check her quickly if there's, if there's anything important in there. I'll take that. Uh, I'm not sure where the zombies are going to come from. We will have some incoming. She did scream. She'd get one scream off. Let's 
some somewhere. You probably can't hear them. I can hear them very faintly. I think we looked out. They're not near us. Not near enough to see us. I can see something moving over there though. Okay, you're dead. And I can't hear any more, so we could be alright. Right, so we can scrap this. Oh no, we're still only at 250 weapon smithing. But you can tell just from looking at it, like this is the kind of thing an orc would be proud to carry. It's pretty sweet. Okay, so the main purpose of today, let's focus on that first. We want to get down there. Survive the night, that's good. Let's, can we close that behind us? I don't want the cheerleader coming down the fucking ladder again. So let's see if I can hoe this ground or if I have to put dirt on top of it. Uh, I don't know if it's left click or right click. What's that? It's, it's, it wants me to do something. Oh, this isn't a fucking horrible. I think I, I'm going to have to... Uh... I might have to dig this out and then put some... Whatever the fuck that was. Do, uh, I need to fertilize your farmland and increase the yield of your crops. Not allow you to grow crops, just increase the yield. Okay, um, let's make... I can't remember what type of ground this is. Let's try making about 10 plains ground and uh, just fucking eating this and then scrapping it. And we can just chuck plant fibers. Let me fill it in with some real dirt. And now can we plant, let's say, some potatoes? Why, yes we can. Okay, we can do potatoes. Now, is it still, like, a thing? Uh, ah, yeah, okay, it's, it's been changed. I was going to say, like, before it was a thing where you had to leave, like, space in between. I probably will do anyway, because I might want more crops. So I'll leave a bit of space for some more potatoes, as and when. And we'll get some corn on the go. That's right. We'll just check what's dirt and what's stone. Like this might be clay, for instance. 
Or ash, it might just be a different kind of dirt. So like for instance we've got a little bit a little patch of stone there. Okay, I think that's good enough. Let's get uh coffee. Now let's put coffee at the far end. Let's do our one blueberry seed here and then some coffee. Excellent. So here's Big Mama's greenhouse uh, in its kind of full glory. Here's wait a few days for these to grow. Um, do you know I've never made fertilizer? I don't think it was even a thing last time I played the game. But oh, we, we do actually have we have rotting flesh. I don't know if I want to spend nitrate powder on it though. Maybe we should. I don't know if I want to like keep spending nitrate powder on it, but increase the yield to me means like just get more plants out of each crop. Um, and that's going to help us. Uh, that's going to help us like fill in the gaps quicker. We're going to get more crops. And then once we've, once we've filled up, obviously at that point we don't really need fertilizer. If I now... Yeah, okay, good. So if I like hit this ground with the hoe, it's not going to cancel the growth. Or that, that might just be because I don't have anything to hit the ground with. It's a possibility. So I, I have to go down, like down, down with this, which we're not going to do just yet. That's, that sounds like an overnight job to me. Digging is very much a nighttime job. Let's get out here. Close this. What do I need to upgrade the vault hatch with? Ah, metal. Wow. Uh, oh, forged steel. Okay, well. There you go. Um, right, we have got a lot of concrete. Um, hmm. Okay, let's focus on... Let's go back to Big Mama's house and see if we can make some fertilizer. Oh, fuck off. Where are you? Oh, do the like a bat do the echolocation? Pretty much straight ahead, which kind of tells me you're either in this pit or the pit on the other side. Trouble is, we've got to sneak. Like we've got to be sneaking because we don't want it to see us. One of these days, this house is just going to fucking collapse the way they keep digging at the foundations. Ooh, what have we got here? Can of pasta. Excellent. Rotting flesh? That's, I will actually take that because we are going to experiment with it a little bit. Uh, we don't need that. And we'll take that. Where the hell is she? She's 
pretty close. She, I bet she's just stuck in that little nook around there. Oh, fucking hell, are you kidding? She didn't scream, but she seems to have summoned some zombies anyway. Okay, she broke down the back wall of Big Mama's house. That I was not expecting. Alright, let's try out this spike club. As you can see, pretty good. Oh, hello. It's the daily wandering horde. They always come the same way. Oh, okay. So here's a big mama. Even she gets rocked back on her feet. And of course the nurse has no chance. Oh, come on now. Seriously? Were you part of the Wandering Horde or did you get summoned separately? You're dead. Oh, holy monkey. It's a dog. Okay, dog, a dog we can handle. And you can really see the spike club quite effective there. I can't believe she punched through the back wall of the house. How cheeky. Are you dead? No. Now, no. How about now? No. Okay, we'll deal with you in a second. Now you're dead. And so is your girlfriend. And I just smashed her leg off for good measure. Oh, here's another one. Is that it? Let's just double check the greenhouse. They were walking in this direction. It survived. And I don't know if they're coming in this direction or if they're fucking off somewhere else. Let's go and check the bodies just in case there's something good. Pretty good. That's trash. Well, speaking of trash. Oh god damn it, I didn't put my sand away. Uh what's this? Part of the nail gun, okay. Uh, I still don't need plant fibers. I'll take some duct tape. 
More trash. Ooh, candlestick. Um, hmm. You know what? I've got an absolute ton of glass jars upstairs. I don't need to worry about that one in particular. Uh, literally, I've got about f almost 50 glass jars. Actually, it's part I do need to, now I think about it, go and fill those up today. I'm down to like three, jar three um, jars of water. There's small corpses here, but I can't be bothered to go and find them. They've gone flat. Uh, there's one. A bit of wood. We'll take it. Empty. So yeah, let's refill that. I don't even know if they, they if she broke that on that occasion. Cause that I think is like round the back here. Yeah. So she broke ooh. She actually broke through the floor there as well. I will fill that in. Why not search that toilet? Yeah it's empty. Uh, actually, oh, it's day 25. I think that means it's an airdrop day as well. Let's get those jars. Uh, I'll leave my sand in there for now. And that battery. Uh, now, rotting flesh, nitrate powder, um, what was it? Dirt fragment. And I can make this in the cement mixer, apparently. Oops, what am I pausing? Nitrate powder, no. Just that little bit. Well, let's get some made anyway. Just some nitrate powder. Yeah, some nitrate powder, what am I talking about? Some fertilizer. missing. Actually rotting flesh believe it or not. I need more rotting flesh. Okay let's drop off just some random shit in here. Yeah that'll do. Okay do I need more food before I go rushing after this thing? What am I on? Twenty six, yeah, I should probably get some. <laughs> I don't think I have any eggs. But at least I've got some meat. At least I've got some meat. Yeah, there we are. Uh, right, grilled. There we go. Grilled meat. <sighs> Get that down me. Let's drop off. What am I dropping off? A little bit of meat. Uh, we've still got the marker for the thing. It's to the north somewhere. Let's go get it. Is there any mortar source that we know of in that direction? There is not. So we might have to come back down to these water towers that someone was telling me about down here. But I really do need some more water at this point. Okay, we're actually going into an explored territory again, which is good. Always like a little bit of that. Look what the zombies have done over here. I think they literally dug their way through the hillside. That must have been one of those wandering hordes. 
did we know there was a Trader Joe's here? Yes, we did. It's right at the edge of our explored terrain. Oh, uh, what the fuck is that? Okay, that's not a bear, is it? No, it's a pig. Okay. <laughs> Bit more meat can't hurt. We should be getting close now based on like the way it's moving around the compass quite rapidly when we're not heading directly towards it. Ah, there it is. Just a quick look round. We're not being hunted. No, good. Well, the SMG schematic. We'll take that. How has my inventory got so fucking full? Uh... Definitely taking that. We can stack the painkillers. Some 9mm ammos. A fully made SMG we'll take. Uh, sniper rifle stock. I believe we have one that's better. I guess we'll drop that bone. Take that. So we know how to make SMGs now. Uh, we can see if we can possibly produce a better one. You know what? I've got no space. I can't mine. I was going to see if I could get some nitrate out of these things, but... No. Let's just go and see what's over this hill. I don't want to run all the way down to the water towers if there's water just over here. There probably won't be. No, there is a road over here though. So there's probably a tower in that direction somewhere. Do you know what? We'll let that deer slide. Okay, so uh, we want to go to, I can't remember which one is the water tower. Uh, it looks like it's probably that one. It looks like there's a small puddle of water there. Right, it's three o'clock. We should be able to get there and back to Big Mama's house easily enough. Uh, and if we do do it quick enough, I am sorely tempted to spend the night digging the shaft down from the farm. I would like... I might actually need some more flagstone blocks, though. To make the back wall to put the ladders on. I've got a buzzard over there. I don't think it's on us yet. No. Hmm. Don't know where it's gone. Okay, but I'm going to assume we're safe. Oh god, we're running past so many piles of what could be nitrate here. I think that was coal though. I'm just going to say that was coal. It looked dark. I really need to start hitting some more veins of stuff underground. 
Iron is fine, but it's not like we're starving for that at the moment. I honestly wasn't exp oh hello. Oh, it's empty. I wasn't expecting uh, nitrate to be the sticking point, honestly. Like, we could, if we had access to nitrate, we could be building our own bullets at this point. What the fuck is this? Oh shit, it's a blueberry patch. I want some of these. Uh, I'll actually get rid of this crappy sniper rifle stock. Yeah, we're going to grow our own blueberries for sure. They're not a very good food item on their own, but uh, blueberry pie, I think you can make. I think it's this and cornmeal. Anyway, it's very nice stuff. Uh, how many things do we need? Whatever, let's just make them all the blueberry seeds. Got some corn here as well. Uh, yeah, let's drop eight steel arrows for some ears of corn. And I guess we just use the fertilizer on the potatoes. Gross corn seeds, right. So, should be over here somewhere. Yeah, here it is, I think. That's not a lot of water. Let's see if we can get 49 jars out of it. Yes, we did. Okay. Good. Well, I'm not going to complain. What's in here? Nothing. Right, let's take it back home. We need to cook it up into actual water. It might actually be time to start working on the mini bike. Look at this guy. Just wandering down the middle of the road. How's it going? That would have been a lot cooler if I'd actually hit him. Oh well. Got a graphical glitch. Okay. Let's go down my fucking Vault Tech hatch. Right. So we didn't find any potatoes, but we did find lots and lots of corn seed. Despite the inefficiency, I'm going to leave a path down the middle just purely for looks. Now, blueberries. There we go. So blueberry pie, uh, oh it needs eggs as well though, 
blueberries, egg, cornmeal and bottled water. There's uh, some kind of stew we can make. Which we need to farm mushrooms for. So really what we're aiming for is this one. Meat stew. Raw meat, potato, ear of corn and bottled water. <sighs> we'll at some point have to farm some mushrooms. Didn't I have like one mushroom seed? That might profit me more than coffee if I can like, make myself some vegetable pie without needing to go keep going hunting meat. Check the chests. Uh, so bottled water it takes eight minutes to cook forty nine jars. Let's get that going. Antibiotics, we're done with corn seed and blueberry seed. I'm sure I had either a mushroom a mushroom or some mushroom seeds somewhere. Definitely not in there. What's that? Oh compound bow. It's missing some parts, isn't it? Not here, but I am positive. Maybe it's just it's in one of the drop chests somewhere else. We have got chests all over the map. It could well be in one of those. Okay, well, what am I going to do for the rest of the day? Probably not that much. Maybe it is time I... Let's see, a mini bike chassis. Iron and clay. I could do that. Do I, right, I've got some plenty of lumps of clay here. I just need a little bit more scrap iron. Uh, 20 seconds, that's one log. I'm not sure I've even got all the parts for a mini bike, but we might as well knock out a chassis. They're surprisingly cheap. I don't know if they've been reduced in price, maybe. We need to find... Uh. Did something just turn off? Oh, it was that, wasn't it? Handlebars, right. Uh, Handlebars made in the workbench with duct tape, leather, mechanical parts, short iron pipe. I think we'll be able to produce all this. Wow, that takes a fucking long time. Jesus. 
Jesus Christ. Okay, right, let's actually clear some space in my inventory this time. Let's really sit down and have a look at all this shit and actually decide what does a man about town in a post-apocalyptic world actually need to be carrying on him. I do not need the raw meat. I do not need to be carrying feathers with me. Uh, outside a horde night, I don't need this first aid kit. The shiv is always nice just in case we find an animal. We need the crossbow bolts. Um, shouldn't I have spent that iron? Aren't I supposed to have... Oh, that's done on the forge. So I'd need to go and restart the forge in a second, I think. Right, so I didn't need to get the iron out. Because it was going to use the stuff that's in the forge's inventory. Oh, I'm dumb. Right, I don't need to be carrying this iron either, then. We'll hang on to that as kind of a backup. Let's put the brass away, and when we need brass in the future, we'll chuck it back in the thing. Uh, I'm hungry. Let's eat that. Right, that's for tonight. I do need that. Uh, I'm not carrying a gun at the moment, so let's put the 9mm rounds away. Painkillers, very useful. Splint, very useful. First aid bandage, very useful. Iron fire axe, we'll hang on to. Meat, yes. Wood frames, always useful. Don't need to be carrying hides or fat. Torches are for tonight. Uh, don't need grain alcohol. Don't need cloth. Raw iron, we can forge downstairs if we need more iron. Claw hammer, yes. Clay, no. Jar, no. Water, yes. Steel, no. SMG, no. Yucca fruit, um, yes, just as a backup. Right, water's coming out. Um, let's go and turn the forge back on. That's the emptiest my inventory's been in a long time. So here we go, we need about another minute. I've got 35 points. I could do weaponsmithing. Do you want to do weaponsmithing? Um, I guess, yeah, let's do weapons with you. Twenty seconds. Uh, I look pretty badass at the moment. I need some more scrap armour. I think I need more duct tape for that. We could probably make some. I'll make some before the next Horde Night. Right, here's the mini bike chassis. I don't want to put this down. But let's see like what else we need. So we've made the chassis. We need handlebars. Duct tape, leather, mechanical parts, short iron pipe. Duct tape, uh, mechanical parts, short iron pipe, leather. That's at the bench here. Mini bike, handlebars, handlebars. We... Okay, we can go. Let's make some handlebars. There we are. 300 quality handlebars. Now, to make the mini bike handlebars, we need two more duct tape, a headlight, and five electrical parts. Uh, I don't know if I have any headlights. I think I've probably thrown them all away, so we might need to go and break some cars. Electrical parts are there, though. 
Uh, no, not electronic, electrical. It's getting a bit late in the day. We might leave it here, but let's just see if we do have some headlights. And any more duct tape. Uh, no, no. Oh, fuck. There's. I actually saw that screamer climbing downhill. Uh, oh, I do have headlights. So actually, we're just short on duct tape. Duct tape. Glue and cloth, which we should have. There's the glue. Cloth. Oh, we've got loads of cloth. There it is. Two duct tape. I think it was just two duct tape. Uh, handle mini bike handlebars. Yeah, that's it. Right. We will probably call it a day there. Uh, I am just going to get these handlebars cooking up. Mini bike handlebars. And then, oh shit, I need to be outside, don't I, to start. Oh fuck. Um, okay, let's run down over to the uh, thing very quickly because I want to dig tonight. I want to dig that thing, and we've got about 10 minutes to get over there. No one saw me, no one saw me, no one saw me. Okay, I'm in. And I will leave it there. So, until next time, I've been Eki Thumb and this has been Let's Play 7 Days to Die. Do hope you've enjoyed it. Like and subscribe if you'd like to see more gameplay of this game. And I'll see you next time.